morning, everybody. Where's Silicon Valley? Ah, oh, there they are. Hey, who are we losing to tonight, guys? We have lost some of the most prestigious awards in Hollywood. We really have. I think it's going to be Atlanta this year. I think it's their year. Um, bunch of losers. Where's Richard Curtis? Hi, I'm so sorry to do this to you. I've seen Four Weddings and a Funeral more than I've seen any other movie in my life. Hugh Grant's uh, Best Man speech in the beginning of the movie made me want to be a stand-up comedian. When my wife and I got married 10 years ago, we stood in line at the courthouse with four of our friends, got married, came home, and watched that movie. So thank you. It's a really... I imagine if that were true, I'm joking. <laughs> I do, I mean, I've seen that movie so many, it's my second uh, favorite movie to uh, Forrest fucking Gump. <laughs> I'm joking, I, I've never seen Forrest Gump. <laughs> Thank you, I made it so awkward, it was so sincere, and then I kept talking. <laughs> That's what being a comedian is like. There's a sweet spot, you can leave, and then you stay. And you think about it for the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> hey, remember that time you were nice to Richard Curtis and then did a couple horrible... F f it's happening right now. <laughs> it's happening currently. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> this year's nominees, great segue. This year's nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay inherited some pretty big ideas from their source material. For instance, the unique challenge of adapting a science fiction novel about nonverbal aliens. Yep, though, so, yeah. I will say the most preposterous idea is that anyone would want to arrive on Earth right now. <laughs> like, if it would be horrible if now is when aliens found us. Like, guys, we're usually not like this. <laughs> Give us four years, or I'm hoping a couple months. We forgot to clean up and put away the racism. Um, oh, what's that um, uh, in the corner? Uh, Nazis. <laughs> yeah, it's Nazis. No, it's 2017. You came in the right time. They're just back. Nazis are back. So on the upside, it's the first time in my life that I can fight Nazis without an Xbox. So. That's not bad. Arrival's great, but what we need is a linguist who helps Americans talk to other Americans. Arrival is great. Thank you, Richard Curtis. Anyway, here are the nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay. And the award for Best Adapted Screenplay goes to Arrival, Eric Heiser. <laughs> That's heavy. This confirms a long-held suspicion of mine that you are all big sci-fi nerds. Uh, and to that end, the first person I have to thank is uh, Ted Chang. I would not be here if it weren't for him. And he is here tonight. Go get autographs for a minute at some point. Um, also, um, my manager, Julie, stuck with me forever. Uh, to Christine Boylan, who inspires me to write characters who remind me of her. Uh, to my two Dans, Dan Levine and Dan Cohen at 21 Laps. You just, you help nurture this script as if it was my own child. To Aaron Ryder and Denis Villeneuve and Amy Adams who adopted that child and raised it with grace and poetry. Uh, Amy Adams is the beating heart of this film and I'm so grateful for her. Uh, God, and lastly, some words from the kids that I would save for another award show, but Barry Jenkins invaded my category and I voted for him, so. Uh, uh, Stay curious, keep asking questions, embrace critical thinking. It's not only how great storytelling survives, it's how science prevails. Thank you. <laughs> 